Hey guys, it's Ravensleaf45 and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV for more Broja Southern Front and the Blades of Gunnear. So last time we just finished, well, this after the recording, I just finished the 5.3.5 for the Broja Southern Front and now we're going to continue onward on figuring out how the hell are we going to save all the people or all the blades that have been tempered to the primal. But at this point, we're in 5.4, so we have a way, a means to cure them. But in the last recording, I was telling myself I have the means, but not in the time spent in the um, where the patch was going to take place. Because since I finished the story, I know the, about the cure, but since it is before the cure has been found, now we have the means to cure them. So we're going to be doing a sign of what's to come and we'll get a fragment of observability and more field notes. Nice, nice. It pains me to say it, but we have reached a stalemate on the Barrage of Southern Front. The 6th or the 4th Imperial Legion seems content to play the waiting game. Perhaps to conserve their, conserve their strength until reinforcements arrive. We must act before the ranks are replenished. There is much we need to discuss with you, though I dare say, Blagen would explain it better than I. Okay. Allow me to cut straight to the heart of our troubles. Though we were forced to abandon the Castrium, it was hoped that Mija's display of force were no more than an act of desperation to buy them time. But since then, Queen's Blaze has been quick to join the fray each time we gauge their forces, leaving us little choice but to retreat. We have sustained heavy casualties. Many of those not slain outright have been had been made a slave Mija's will. I fear she could defeat our foes utterly if she so choose. Our Damascan allies, however, have information on the contrary. Well, to the contrary. To put this plainly, we believe the 4th Imperial Legion has been all exhausted its resources. In the wake of Emperor Vi Virus' death, the War of Succession has brought the whole Galar into a brink of collapse. As for Gerbrandt, he has refused orders to return to the capital. Apparently, he harbors dreams of building some new nation on the ruins of Damascus. Hmm, he may once play the role of servant to Solus, but there was no love between him and Varys. It seems his allegiance to Garland died with the Emperor. If what you say is true, Cutting ties with the Garland has deprived his forces of any troops or supplies they would otherwise have received. Lord Heden was quick to reach the same conclusion and ordered an assault on the Fort Imperial Legion. Way to go, Heden, taking the initiative. That would explain why reinforcements from Gerprat have yet reached the Bros and Southern Front. Exactly. Even as we speak, allies for both Damascus and Nagia endeavors to halt their advance. Nevertheless, our foes on the Brazilian front have Gunnir's blades at their command, giving them the upper hand. Would that there be a way to free them from Mizia's control? Um, yeah, we need to have Alice help us in that department. Unless we can borrow a proxy, then that will help too. There may be yet hope. Mirexi, I recently seen word from the science that the cure for their affliction has been found. Mm -hmm. However, the procedure would require a great deal of preparations and that it's a nothing of difficulty in employing this treatment in combat. <sighs> if only had been cap haven't been captured by Mizia, none of this would have been happened. 
The fault lies with me. I'm the who failed to see through her deceit. And you are not to blame for any of this. Yeah, Mikkel, you're not yet to blame. I! No use of moaning about how feelings sorry for yourself. Next you'll be saying we should be reforcing the blades of Gunnir. Ah, uh, Garald. Commander, we receive word of another summoning. Mikoto, wait! Where are you going? It must be the summoning, but we can think about that later. Yeah, first come first, we need to figure out what's happening out there. Please, Artorius, you gotta stop her! Way ahead of you. To the southern front. And I'm pretty sure I missed the uh, the critical engagement for the citadel. Oh well. Oh well. Wait, is that the code from the first one? Let me see this. Oh yeah, it is from the first one. Okay, let's go back. To the southern front! Okay, we're back here. And is it the same instance? Probably not. If the queen were to appear, we would be a burden. We must go on without us. Um, okay, so where I need to go then? Huh. In fact, shown. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So I need to go to that shard. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, went to the wrong shard, shit. Okay, right. Alright. Let me just bypass all these damn monsters so I can fight any of them. Alright, here we are. Mikoto, hopefully, you're fine. I'll keep my mouth shut. So what we got here? Oh boy. Low born traitor. Don't bar on. You're only provoke her. How the tables have turned. Now, hold still. This won't hurt a bit. Wait, please, don't! So late now. Bye. Or did I go all according to plan? They're not bending to their wheel. Something wrong, Mizia? You have spared two of our captives. Too. What about the other guy?
Oh. I guess her goal all along was for only him? Do it! Um. Yeah. So much for them being alive. Apologies. Seems I misspoke. If you come to bark orders, don't bother. The next step in my plan has already been set in motion. Now, if you excuse me... Sir! Oh, there goes that flying mech. <laughs> yada yada yada. I certainly hope she knows what she's doing. That echo of hers is all well. Mm. I certainly hope she knows what she's doing. That echo of hers is all we have left to buy us time until reinforcements arrive. And she knows, and he knows he's being watched. But what on earth could this new plan hers be? Oh, I do love a good scheme. Alas, I've been strictly forbidden from helping her. What is this guy's angle here? It's like, why denulge all this to us, knowing full well we're right here? Unless he's like a double agent for the Empire. He's like, um, a resist- like, a resistance member from the Damascus or something. I don't know. Like, could be many reasons why he's telling us all this. Let's return to Gangos. I've seen more than enough. Alright, let's head back. Whoa, whoa. Something's happening. Especially about down there. Oh boy. Hopefully nothing, something bad happened to him. At least he's not alone. So this is like a vision to the future or something? Or what's to come? Not another step! We have you surrounded! You say that now, but you can just pull out that damn um, Aiken of hers and just temper all your soldiers back to her will. Speaking of which, what happened to the place she um, enthralled? It's not working. It's over, Mizia! We know full well the crystal power is spent. Okay, so I'm guessing a small glimpse of what's to come.
Another vision? Did you see it too? Yep, I just did. Come, Artorius. We must inform the others. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, we need to go back to Gang Girls, so let's get out of this place. It's kind of nice you can just leave the instance which is going to the main mid, except going outside manually. Thank God for that. Okay, let's talk to Blastian. Give him the good news that we kind of, uh, Mikoto saw the vision to the future. Now that Blade Ataris has arrived, would you care to indulge your findings, Mikoto? Yeah, tell them about the future. To speak plainly, I believe the apparition sibling at the Castellum, Lacquas Latoire, and again on the southern front, is not what you call an Echon or a Primal. Not in the strictest sense of the term. So, what is it then? If it's not a Primal or Echo, Akon, then what is it? The hell are you talking about, Les? I have fewer shares of tales about Primals. And what they're all told me with this Queen Gunnier fits the description to a bloody title. According to our records, Queen Gunnier wielded the power of the blade not to summon a god, but to become one. That she could protect our people. She made herself a vessel for its power then? Kinda like what happened to um what's her name? What was her name from Heaven's Word? Uh, the one that became the catal what, well, the catalyst became the vessel for Shiva. Damn it! What about her name? Ah, uh, damn it! It eluded me. Uh, so future Miki, if you figure out what the, his name is, put her name is put in somewhere in the video. So whatever her name was, it's kind of the same principle that she wants to have the. Um, to host the primal in her body. Mija claimed that after the fourth anvil calamity was averted, the queen was able to return to her mortal form. Tales passed down through the ages state that much the same. It appears the queen Gunnir was able to call upon its power at will. Huh. Then, that would mean that a living vessel is required to wield the blade's true power. But that's not explain why instead of manifesting in the form of the Queen Gunnir. That is true. Based on experience in the Castrum and what we serve on the Southern Front, I believe the blade was imbued with the Queen's memories in the form of an Aether at the moment of her death. And that is the crystal focus we use to draw them out. Doesn't that sound familiar, Artorius? Aether absorb into a vessel and therefore use the call for unspeakable monstrosities? Yeah, it kind of sounds like, um, you know, the Ascians kind of thing. Well, they imbued it with their memories and so how make them live forever? Precisely, it is the funnel quite similar to the asteroid we discovered in the Rabinastra. Or that too. As you may recall, our grant Ted the Phyllis harbored a burning desire to rule, which was made to manifest in the ruins of Lesilia. It was the same for my brother. Bangaman Bagaman Bagangman Bagangman. His guilt over the deaths of the prince and the princess has served as a catalyst of his own grisly transformation.
I see. For what we learned of the Holy Blade thus far, it has much in common with the Arts Rite. It is merely conjecture, but I suspected that Saint the Queen was actually crafted from Arts Rite and alt altered to amplify the desire of whoever wields it. Huh. Okay. But who was capable of such a feat? I cannot say with any certainty, but together with the crystal focus, it is reminiscent of the ancient elegant technology. How it found its way into the hands of the Brajan is anyone's guess. Now hold on a bloody minute. Let me see if I understand this right. You're saying that thing saw into Castion where is no primal, but a mere silver oath of the Queen Aether was left over in the blade? It seems like it, but on the other hand, Musia can't keep conjuring it up as many times as she wants. Yeah, it's not like it has a limited supply of Aether, so eventually it should run out at some point. Considering what is it designed for? That shade of the queen, at least, of our worries. Indeed, Mijia's ultimate goal is likely to become a vessel for the blade's power, much like the queen did to avert the fourth Ambo Calamity. So she, that's her end goal, she wa really wants to save everyone, but in doing so, she wanted to be the catalyst for the queen to get the power she needs to save her country, well, the people she loves, but if she was doing that, she can easily just, you know, converse with us, tell her her plans, and maybe we can find a solution together than just doing it by herself. With ant preparation, Arturus could likely vanquish this shade of the Queen Gunnir. But Misha should succeed in bringing the full power of the Blade to bear. That could might be likely kill her? Are you suggesting there's a chance she could lose? IMPOSSIBLE! Why, I can't even count the number of stories I heard of Taurus' god slaying adventures. What's more not of her belt? I would rather not come to that. Thankfully, Mija has yet found a store of crystals suitable for her plants. And I doubt she will, for the time being at least. If the place was designed in the in like a manner to the crystal focus, we must act now, while there is still time. Indeed. Okay, so that's it, I get all this for free, nice. New entries have been added to the field record under calculation, yes, 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 thank you very much.